Hi everyone, it's Naomi. Welcome to Naomi Channel. みなさん、こんにちは。Naomi です。今日も私の主人、アメリカのバリバリビジネスマン、ライアンにゲストとして来てもらいました。みなさん、こんにちは。ライアンです。<笑>もし前回彼が初出演をした動画をまだご覧になっていない方はぜひこちらの動画もこの動画の後にご覧ください今日彼にゲストとして来てもらった理由それはアメリカ人に日本のカタカナ英語はどこまで伝わるのかという実験をするためですどのカタカナ英語が通じるのか通じないのかそしてネイティブスピーカーはこのような言葉を聞いてどう思い何を連想するのかなどを検証していきたいと思います日本で普段頻繁に使われているカタカナ英語ってありますよね例えば日常会話ではワクチンとかエネルギーとかビジネス会話だとテーマとかローンチとか英語から日本語になって英語の元の発音とはほど遠くなってしまって日本で使用されている言葉です今日は日常そしてビジネスの両方で使われているカタカナ英語を試していきたいと思いますこのようなカタカナ英語は普段気をつけないとその発音そのものを正しい英語だと思って実際に英会話でも使用してしまうということもよくあると思いますが外国の方には伝わらないものがかなり多いので今日はこちらにアメリカ人を用意したのでカタカナ・イングリッシュ・チャレンジをして特に気をつけなくてはいけないカタカナ英語を特定していきましょうということで Let's get started! So, this is a katakana English challenge. So, I'm going to tell you katakana English words. Katakana English words basically means it, they were originally English words, but then Japanese people had adopted them and then kind of started to pronounce it in their own way and became Jap- officially Japanese. But the pronunciation is very different from the original English words. Got it. So, it will be a katakana English challenge. To see if you can tell which English words these katakana words are referring to. So, my audience will be able to identify the ones that they need to be careful with when they're using. Got it. Okay,、mm-hmm. I will do my best. All right, let's get started. ルールとしては、まず私がそのカタカナ英語を彼に何か当ててもらって、わからない場合はそのカタカナ英語が入った文章をヒントとして彼に与えます。ところで、ライアンは少し日本語がわかります。でしょうん、少しだけ,少しだけなので全く日本語がわからない外国人の人よりはカタカナ英語の意味の予測がついてしまうかもしれないのですが今日はなるべく難しいカタカナ英語を用意したので試してみましょう。So here I have multiple katakana words which I'm gonna see if you would know what I'm talking about.Alright.Okay.So、okay. number one.Can I look at it?No.Oh, okay.No, you cannot look at these cards. Number one, Kaosu. Kaosu. Kaosu? Kaosu. Kaosu.、Mm. So it's not, it's not to buy anything. Kao? No? Kao, c h i g a w Kaosu. 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 No idea. Do you need an example phrase? Sure, Do yes. You need a hint? I will take a hint, please. All right. Their marriage was Kaosu. Callus? Callous, Jenny. Callous is like, no, not callous. Okay.、They're, how could their marriage be callous? Callous. Callous means, you、oh, know, like, mean? fric- there's friction between、oh, fric- them. I thought those、know. were like what you get on your feet. Right. And、yeah, oh. it's caused by friction. So、oh, it's the、I、friction、see. in the marriage. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I learned something new. Their marriage was callous. Callous. <laughs> I have no idea. All right. You give up? I, I give up. Okay. So, the English pronunciation of kaosu is chaos. Chaos. I never would have gotten that. Yeah. Kaosu, chaos. No. So, we gotta be careful when you're saying kaosu. They wouldn't understand. You have to say chaos. 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 All right, the next right. one. That was a good one. Yeah. Right off the bat. All right. This is a good one, too. Okay. The next word is Torauma. 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 Is it. Oh, you know. Is it a type of、okay. horse? Uma? <laughs> <laughs> Uma? No, it's not Uma. A lion horse? 
Tora. <laughs> it's not a tiger horse. Tora Tournament? Not tournament. Okay. No. I no. Don't okay. So the example, um, an example phrase would be, I have a Torauma from my. <laughs> I'm just picturing <laughs> no. lion horse right now. Not, not, not I have a. To, to, uh, I, I didn't hear anything. Okay. I have a Torauma from. I have a Torauma from my childhood. Oh, okay. Trauma. Yes. Trauma. Yes. Completely different. Completely yeah. different. Hundred percent different. Was it hard? I would never. I oh. don't think anyone would guess. Oh, that. good. Oh, good. <laughs> so the English pronunciation of trauma is trauma. 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 All right. Let's go to the next one. Asap. 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 ASAP? Yes! Oh, okay. How did you know? I, I've never heard that before. Oh, okay, yeah. ASAP. 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 Because in English, ASAP. Yes. So, so let me give my audience the English um, okay. example phrase. So I need this ASAP, right? So the English pronunciation of ASAP, I think which is mostly used in the business settings, are ASAP. Mm -hmm. As soon as possible. As soon as possible. But in English, you would say ASAP. ASAP is like shorthand. So yeah. it's like, hey, I need this ASAP, which ASAP. can come off as kind of rude. ASAP. Yeah. Oh, ASAP. Yeah. But wait, ASAP is more rude? It's more rude. You ASAP? Would just, ASAP. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If you could ASAP. do this ASAP, that would be ASAP. great, you know. ASAP. Instead of like, I need this ASAP. Yeah, when you, you know? yes, yeah. Yeah. You're kind of expecting the other person will feel offended. Yeah. Yeah. So ASAP. All right. All right. The next one. Okay. This might be easy. Seta. Sweater. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. That one. Was okay. Too I knew. Easy. I know that one. Okay. That one was. E okay. That one was too easy. So, um, the English pronunciation of seta is sweater. Right. Sweater. No All one right. would ever understand if you said. Seta. Seta. Yeah. How did you understand it? Because you're familiar. Just with because it? I I, ha I know that I just. Oh, you know, know the word. Japanese. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I see. All right. Let's move on to the next phrase or next um, katakana English word. Mesoto. 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 Mm. Mesoto. I'm gonna guess here. Mm. I'm gonna guess that it's method. Yes. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. You got it right. <laughs> I'm disappointed. But that one's, I mean, that's not, that's not obvious. You know? Okay. Meso method. I wouldn't have, you know. So yeah, let me, um, let me tell our viewers the, the English pronunciation of mesoto is method. Method. Do you want to pronounce? Method. Method. So, a but a native English speaker without any knowledge of Japanese would not get that. Okay. They would not guess that. So again, sure. he got it right because he knows a little bit of Japanese and he can kind of understand what certain words of Japanese could could be. Yeah, could be. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Narushisto. One more time. Narushisto. Can you give me an example? Yes. An example phrase is, she is such a narcissist. Okay, I think I got this okay. one. Okay. Narcissist? Yes, narcissist. Narcissist. So the English pronunciation of narcissist is narcissist. 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 All right, let's go to the next one. Okay. The next word is tema. Tema. Tema? Tema. 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 I'm just, I'm guessing here. Mm. Theme? Oh, you knew this word. No, the only, actually the only way I was able to make that association mm. was that movie. What, um, what movie? With with the guy from Keikon Dekinai Otoko. Oh, oh Terumai Romai. Terumai yeah, yeah, yeah. Romai. 
Yeah. Why? Why? Because the how how you pronounce it, right? Oh, oh, I see. So I was able the T H. I was able to put that together. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the only reason. Interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah, interesting. Yeah. So English pronunciation of tema is theme. 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 So let's go to the next one. All right. Oh, you probably know this one. Lunch. Lunch. No, not lunch. Lunch. Lunch? Hmm? Launch? Like launch? Like rocket yes. launch? Yes, you got it right. Okay. So the example sentence would be We will launch the campaign in June, right? And the correct or the English pronunciation of launch, I think people use it in the business settings more in Japan. The English pronunciation will be launch. Launch. Yeah, launch. Instead of launch. Mm. Yeah? All right. The next one. All right, next one. Collagen. Collagen. I'm, I'm gonna guess here. Mm. Is it vitamin? Yes. Collagen. Yes. How okay. do you know? Okay. Well, because we have those vitamins. Well, how do you know it's collagen? Because it's the only thing in English that could be kind of close. Oh, whatever. Because cola. Again. Yes, collagen. collagen. Like that's pretty, you oh, know. Oh, okay. Like pattern based. Okay. Right? I'm a little disappointed, but you got it right. All right. So the example sentence will be I hear taking collagen, collagen could keep you young. So the English pronunciation of collagen is collagen. 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 All right, the next one. Um, I think this one you will get for sure. Consulting. Oh. I hear I hear concert. Is that wait, give me an example. Okay. He does consulting. Oh. Work. Okay, okay. So not concert. Consulting. Yes, consulting. Okay. So the English pronunciation of consulting is consulting. But no one, in, no one speaking English as their primary language would get that. Oh really? Because like gu, like no one knows. Okay, yeah. so we need to next time we need to bring on someone who just doesn't know Japanese words at all. Sorry. So it would be more. <laughs> would be funny. <laughs> I hope it was funny uh, to some to some extent. But anyways, but I think there were some good ones, right? Mm -hmm. I think there were some good ones. Which yeah. one? Which one was your favorite? They were all my favorite. I think maybe Kaos it was. The yeah, best one, maybe. That was pretty good. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining me today on my channel. Thanks and for having me here. And I hope to have you again sometime soon. It would be a pleasure. If you have time. いかがでしたでしょうか。英会話でのコミュニケーションを取るときにややこしくなるのがこのようなカタカナ英語ですが、ぜひ今回の動画を機にしっかりとした正しい英語の発音を習得していただければ嬉しいです。ナオミチャンネルでは普段日常英会話やビジネス英語習得に役立つ実践的な英語知識やアメリカの情報や映像をお届けしていますのでご興味のある方はぜひチャンネル登録をよろしくお願いしますそれでは皆さんまた来週 Thank you for watching my video I will see you next time Have a good one Bye